All right, guys, this is uh, Jimmy again, and I'm going, this will be in three parts because I don't know how to work these phones. So. I upgraded to a ratchet. I still can't use a ratchet. And there you have it. Now we'll We'll come over here and there's a cat right there. Come over here and we'll do the same on this side. So enjoy as I work. Whoops. Whoops. Well, guys, uh, looks like we're gonna be doing it one-handed. So. Whoops. Whoa. And uh, if you don't care about your mower too much, you can let that hit. But if you care about it a little bit, just use your knuckles. That's what God made them for is to hit stuff. Not necessarily, but close enough. You know what I mean, Vern? Hey, my socket came off. On untightener and untightener and untightener and untighten it and untighten it. Boys, I hope it don't rain on me because I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> but hey, the boat came out. <laughs> So, you get your bolts out. Uh, okay. Ooh, that's my breezy. Uh, let me uh, set y'all down a minute and uh, if you want to get a different socket here. I'll need that in a minute, so I'll put that there. Come in. Hey, my phone blew up. Surprise, huh? I think this fit this. Look at that, perfect. These little boogers are hard to get in, I tell you. Okay, after you get all that done, you, you throw your tractor in third. And you try to fiddle with this and get it out. Y'all gonna sit here in the seat and I'm gonna get this thing off. Okay, there you go. She you gets your shield off. Y'all are still watching at this point. Thank you. If you ain't, then, well, I don't blame you hardly a bit. So, on your arm right here, where's the. Oh, on your arm right here, these two holes. This rod will slide up. Slide up through here, bolt in right here. So, uh, I'm gonna set y'all back up here and I'm gonna do that. The two bolts you have to put in are half inch, so you need a half inch wrench. Uh, let's see. On my lugs, I got a five eighth socket and a half inch parking bar. You can use a zipper, or a air hammer, or whatever you want to use. But it's kind of like hand tools better than you can. And to hold your rod in, you need the uh, cotter pins. Oh, you're going 
ambil waktu ya Hold on, I gotta make a wrench run here. I gotta go get a Big problem. Well, folks, uh, you know what? That's the basis for the top link. Uh, you know the mounting points and everything. For some reason this ain't fitting, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Just 
think on it in a minute, see why it ain't fitting, but you take this plate off, you're gonna lose a little bit of fluid because this you're breaking the seal. Then put your bracket here and uh I'm gonna go show you that bracket. Well I'll show you exactly how you how it's mounted up, but it's like that there. You'll need a you can't use factory bolts, you'll have to get a well, I mean, they have factory bolts put in, but you'll have to get longer bolts put in, so. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll uh, see you all next time. This is for the 108 Cub Cadet International Harvester 3-point installment. Thank you all.